for a second. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Chris and Tony oh, it's back. This with, it's, it's this hand. <laughs> it's Chris and Tony back with another uh, beer review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet's Tiger Sox Series. The Tiger Sox Series. Today, we're going to be doing local beers, as we did last week. Yeah. Uh, once again, we're going to be doing another Tanea Creek beer. Um, <clears throat> as we said before, so we don't want to uh, belabor the point, but... Tony and I can be found at uh, <laughs> at, at uh, Tanea Creek many times a month. Uh, those of you who follow me on Instagram, when you see those um, lunch flights, thanks, Tony. That's this Tony at Tanea Creek, uh, more often than not. So uh, if I still maintain this field research. There's been a couple of be there's been a couple of flights at a at a couple of other places, but for the most part, the the uh, the most pretty much every lunch flight uh, hashtag lunch flight on my Instagram account. That's uh, that's at Tanea Creek. Mm -hmm. And once again, thanks, Tony. So, <laughs> Anytime, <clears throat> all the time. And these beers, in fact, we can once again thank Tony for. Uh, these were <laughs> actually birthday beers that... Uh, well, it was his birthday. You know, but I, as, as I've said before, I don't care. The best beer in the world. If this was, if, if today we were going to be reviewing uh, River of Ash, my favorite beer in the world, it's always better to share a beer than to spare a beer. So... Always, always, always better. And today Amen. we've got a 22 ounce bottle, so it's it's it makes it even that much easier to share. Um, this will be coming into the picture of this one. Oh yeah. In fact, shall we shall we bring it into view? Let's bring it into view. Alrighty. Bottled on 12, 16, and 2014, which uh, kind of surprised us uh, a moment ago. Here you go, Tanea Creek Imperial Stout. Look at that. As you can see, it was wax capped. Yeah. So and it is an imperial, so it's a higher ABV. We're not. I'm not worried at all about the fact that it's from uh, 2014. The no. fact that it's a year and a half no, old. No. Uh, it's a high. It's an imperial stout. It's. It was. Um, 9.3 percent. And it was. Alcohol. Yeah. 9.3 percent ABV, and you've got a, a wax cap on it. So that's exactly. If if a beer is going to be a year and a half old, that's exactly what you're looking for. Uh, and those of you who are unaware, uh, if you if you are unaware of that, yes, those are the two things to look for: a higher ABV. And a wax cap if you're going to be drinking a beer that's over a year old. But, uh, plus, this came from uh, Tanea Creek itself. This was exactly. not sitting on some dusty shelf in some random corner yep. of some store. This came from their retail area. And these um, uh, these the bottles bar. are loved. And uh, yes. actually, uh, you're going to be seeing um, Tanea Creek on your shelves, depending upon where you live, more in cans. Um, now, these bottles have been available for quite a while. They've been had the 22-ounce bombers for years, but Katie, who is uh, the bartender who regularly takes care of us on Wednesdays. Hi, Katie. Uh, hi, Katie. She's awesome. She is. Hats off to Katie. Uh, but she told us that there's going to be more Ma cans, and they're actually going to be moving everything to cans. So um, if I understood her correctly, if it's available in bottles, it's going to be available in cans. Now, sometimes they do have some house specialties, but I don't think they can or bottle. Like, for example, the Wit Pluot. Right. Or um, right now they've got uh, they the, mess with the, the coach on, um, yeah. on with pomegranate. I don't think that's available in cans or bottles, but the they're year, standard the year, year rounds. Years. And even some of their specialties, like the um, the God of Thunder, yeah. uh, which I don't know is that necessarily a year round or is it? Um, the Baltic Porter is, is it? It's, it's a a the, the Baltic Porter. Well, like he, we were talking about it last week, and because we live here and we go there, we have, we always have these beers on craft. We just basically never have them in a bottle. Uh, no particular reasons, not a preference. It's However, just, uh, just a minute ago, we were looking at Tony's bottle collection. We saw the Tandem um, Double IPA it's from them. Back, yeah. That's in bottles. I'm going to assume that right. that's going to be available in cans uh, when it comes back. You know, if, that's, if they're going to be canning everything. On Wednesday when I go back. Yeah, it's... but I've, I've, based upon what Katie said, I, I imagine, um, if anything, you're more likely to see it in cans than the 22-ounce bombers. Um, so... And for you, oh, no. Tania, if you didn't get to see the video last week, uh, Tania Creek is local. Um, they are. 831 West Bonanza. Definitely worth checking out. If you're a beer enthusiast, you're going to see 11 beers of theirs that they make on site, year-round and mm -hmm. seasonals. 11 beers. And then they have a, a, a constantly rotating uh, selection of guest drafts. Yep. Um, they do like to focus on local, but they don't necessarily they do. focus on Vegas. They will bring in... Reno, Nevada. They will bring in. Um, that's true. Yeah, Tonopah. Great Basin they've had, and that's a Reno. Right. Um, and and there's Tonopah, a few of them from Reno. Um, There's not too many um, cities in Nevada. <laughs> it's yeah, just exactly. kind of funny, actually. Yeah. Um, even Boulder City, I think they've had a, a collaboration with Boulder City, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. <laughs> or Hoover Dam. No, there was uh, there was uh, there was Boulder Brewing with um, Cigar City had a collaboration, but not too fancy. Not too fancy. Which is currently available. Yeah. 
but um, um, they like to focus on the beers in the state, so not necessarily. But they also bring a lot in, like Love Lady, for example, is here in town. Mm -hmm. They currently have a, a beer there. Um, There's one from Craft House, Craft House uh, right there, right, right now as well. So it's cool to come here and sample. Especially a tap house, a rotating a, a tap house attached to a, a local brewery that's willing to put in other local beers. Right. You know, these are these are in direct competition with them, and yet they're willing to put in Craft House and Love Ladies beers and. And that's you know. because they like to celebrate everything beer. They they're not looking at it as like you're my enemy. I'm competing against you. It's what we all love and enjoy, and that's one of the cool things about Tanay Creek Brewery is when you talk to the staff mm -hmm. and you become friends with them, which I've been fortunate enough to do um, with even a couple of the brewers actually, um, is have down to earth chit chats where you get some really cool information that they're not really going to necessarily share with you know, got beer people tourists that pulling the beer at Tanay Creek. But admittedly, there's not as many here as there are up in the Northwest, but let's face it, you go up to the Northwest, if you've been to a Northwest tap room, you, uh, about half the people who are yanking the taps there know what they're talking about, and half don't. Let's face it, a lot of those people who are hired in, in craft, in, in those brewery tap rooms, are either cousins or girls who are hired because of their cup size. Uh, I'm just being honest here, guys, you know what I'm talking about. If you've been through the Northwest, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so that's the beauty of Tanea, as Tony was saying, is that everybody, Brian, Katie, uh, Mia, Ruth, everybody who's pulling your beers yeah. there actually genuinely likes beer, likes to talk about beer. Yeah, nice. um, Tony yeah. and I had a great conversation with Brian about Lambics very recently. Brian schooled us a lot about uh, Lambics and how they get some of those um, naturally occurring wild geese, which are getting fewer and fewer. Yeah. So, and if um, you're lucky enough to uh, have Jeff as your bartender, um, What's interesting about him is he's, he's actually spends half of his time in the back brewing, the other half in the front serving. So he's just full <laughs> of stories, information, mm -hmm. and he's one of those guys that, in fact, he bought me a beer. I forgot to tell you. There's that. He bought me a beer uh, the day before or yesterday when I was there. He actually leaned in to Ruth, the bartender, and said, make sure to get some of my beers for Patrick. Please. They, like they buy it. you beers. Uh, uh, and they share beers. This past Wednesday, Tony and I were sitting in there. And, and distributors came in. Next thing we know, we're being handed bottles of beer. We tried Woot Stout, right. okay? The, the highly coveted Woot Stout that's out there right now, which y'all are putting up, yeah. just like zombie dust in terms right. of, of, of trophies. Yeah. We had some. We they, had some. We, they, they, they poured it. They, the, uh, who you call a wussy Who Pilsner. you call them wussy Pilsner in a can? Man, that was good stuff. <laughs> I, I really liked it. I mean, I, I'm a big fan of Pilsners anyway. Yeah, but, they had a lot of fun that day. Yeah. And, and but that's just, the kind of place that Tanea is. You made me, and we, we ended up even talking. Tony had a conversation with one of the guys from uh, Stone. You, you know, never know who you're going to meet there in terms of beer uh, yeah. connections. So yeah. if you come to Vegas and you love beer, even if you just, it's, it's actually really close to the old town. It, it's right under the spaghetti bowl. If you're at the spaghetti bowl and you could manage to somehow teletransport yourself and your car down, you would be in their parking yeah. lot. So yeah. it's, it's a neat place to visit, and you actually have a couple of different breweries in, in close. Proximity that's true. Other. That's true. Because by right being the there, corner. you're not far from Banger or Main Street. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this because it's yeah, it is a uh, it's it's wax and I'm it I'm it takes a hard some time doing. opening these. It, it, well, that's the not, mark already. Sure. We're not using the uh, Taza uh, yeah, not with pop this. top that's opener not. with this. When I actually wrote Taza Designs and said, "Hey, does this work with wax openers?" She wrote me back and said, "I don't know. Give it a try." She wrote so back. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, we did try it with a Grand Canyon uh, pumpkin beer and yeah. decided that, that as cool as it is, um, it's just not uh, the pop the top opener is not for the uh, the waxed. It's not for the top. waxed. So before we even pour <laughs> it, let's get that Imperial That's Stout. That's a good. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Imperial Stout snout. <laughs> you, were, you were just getting like like clouds up your nose. It is so <laughs> pungent. All right, you ready? Here we go. I, I got my Beavis and Butthead glass today. Yes. Because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in the mood to drink a good I'm beer. I'm from yeah. Woodcheck. Uh, Tony and I okay. went to a uh, tasting uh, out in uh, East Vegas uh, oh. for Woodcheck. And uh, I got to say, I had some really good ciders there. And I think that was the last time I was really happy with what I had from Woodcheck. It's it's kind of weird. I don't know what's going on with them. but um, I don't think we'll be reviewing any Woodcheck ciders in the near future. Uh, I don't see that happening. I never no. seen that Teton, before. maybe. Uh, and the, I've got to admit that it's, um, it's uh, uh, going to... Um, Tanea Creek that has introduced me to Teton. Uh, pretty much every cider I've had from Teton, I've been pretty happy with. And I know you're not a big fan of ciders, but I, I think you've liked um, 
You haven't hated I haven't uh, hated some of those them, ciders that came out. Here's your head on this. Um, I uh, actually poured. Your head's probably a little bit creamier and thicker than mine. Yeah, um, I'll show you. Oh, you actually can get some color through that, some light through. Oh no, that's reflection. That's I see reflection. now. That's reflection from the red because yeah, my girlfriend well, has a yeah. Like I can't see you right now at all. <laughs> Nothing. And can you see me? And you're two inches away from me. And we've got to say. Um, Light, medium carbonation on this. Yeah. There's still some bubbles going. So, uh, this head is not going anywhere. Wow, that is a really good smell. This, this smells like I gotta be honest with you, I don't know that I've ever had the Imperial Stout from uh, Tanea. Well, period. I don't know that oh, I've really? had their Imperial Stout. I've had, um, mm. but uh, this, this, this might be... be a first for me, and this is definitely the second time yeah. only that I've had a, a beer from them uh, yeah, in, at a bottle. Yeah. If anything candle could make a, a, a stout candle, it needs to smell like that. Because it smells fantastic. Yankee Candle and Tanea Creek collaborating. That would be great. It's so co just like cocoa, just like dark, like baking chocolate. Or baking uh, cocoa. Baking cocoa, vanilla. Did we mentioned this was a 9.3. It's a 9.3. Yeah. I don't know if we went very bad or not. Well, I see that we're actually um, closing in on time, so. Yeah, we're already 11 minutes. Yeah. But we're still going to drink the beer, and you'll still hear about it. Oh, yeah. Nice and wow. creamy. That's exactly what an imperial stout is supposed to be. Uh, I'd say extremely rich. Um, a only dessert, a, a dessert, fantastic dessert beer. I could. I, I'm. I'm in the mood for the ice cream. I'd right say now. a low mouth feel though. Mouth really. Feel. Um, uh, there's not much spiking in. You could this. throw a little scoop of vanilla ice cream in here. Like it would work out very well, actually. <laughs> and in fact, I would. I would have done that instead of uh, not your father's root beer. Uh, quite mm -hmm. between a choice of uh, this as a as a float or not your father's root beer, I'd go with this. Um, yeah, this has got a, a, a long aftertaste. This, I mean, it's perfect. exactly, yeah. I mean, it, it just stays in your mouth. Like, oh, it's it's one of those beers that those of you who have mustaches, you can <laughs> reach up and grab the, the froth from uh, that you get on your mustache and enjoy it. So. So yeah, you can go. Yeah, you uh, gross out, out the lady in your mm -hmm. life. Um, what do you think, man? Uh, just, just, this is. So roasty, it's just so. And you know, the, now tasting it, well, I really man. don't think I've had this before. I really don't. I don't know that they've ever had this. That they regularly have this on uh, tap. No, um, I don't think they do either. I don't think this is so something that you. So this might be a first time that I've tried uh, them. And, and the truth of the matter is, if, if you go into Tanaya Creek right now and you look at everything that's a home brew, I've had it all. Tony's had it all more than once. Um, this massive black beer with on-off white head is obtained. I'm sorry, is yeah, obtained by brewing pale caramel chocolate roast victory and black malts. This beer is loaded with malt. <laughs> yes. This is almost like a this is like a caramelly Schwarz beer. Yeah. Um it really it does a, more than a even a more word. than a stout, I would say this tastes mm. like a Schwarz beer. Because of the richness and the alcohol content, it's definitely more of a a savory beer. It's a sipping beer, that's it's for sure. Sipping, yeah. It's a savory beer. It's a dessert beer. Um, we moved back inside today because we did our first review outside, yeah. and 12 minutes later, we're like, let's go back inside where there's air conditioning. Exactly. Especially yeah. if you're going to drink an Imperial, or, or Imperial Stout. Uh -huh. This beer packs a wallop. If you're a stout lover, I can't see you going wrong with this. I mean, I think you're going to be very, very satisfied with it. Um, you know, the thing is, Imperial I, Stout. Sorry, I try but. to find something from Tanea that I just don't like, and I haven't found it yet. Um, you know that they're uh, they're uh, they recently had um, was it there? No, they didn't have they didn't have the half with apricot, did they? They it wasn't theirs. Half, they had hefeweizen with uh, peaches, I think. With peaches, okay. Yeah. That one was so so, but honestly, I see that we're closing in on almost in a minute now. Um, oh yeah, but, yeah. yeah. I started but, twenty seconds late. But uh, <laughs> um, honestly, I there's never been a bad beer from Agreed. Tanea. This, even the one that I wasn't that crazy about, I would not have called a bad beer. So, yeah. As if you're looking for a really good stout, the Imperial to fill you up and warm great. you up, you're going to be real happy with this one. An untapped score in our closing um, sentence? I'd say probably 4.25. Nice. Yeah. I would agree, yeah. too. I would agree, too. Well, drink good beer. Don't break the bank doing Don't it. Don't break the we bank, We appreciate please. you watching, subscribing, and Your kids commenting. need to go to college. Exactly. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.